YouTube entertainment dash cams continue to gain popularity among drivers. And now some insurance companies are checking dash cam footage to see who's at fault in the case of a collision. Our gadget guy, Colin Baker, joins us to tell us more. Good morning, Colin. Good morning, um, it, they're, they're, they've become a requirement of law in certain jurisdictions, haven't yeah. they? Um, I mean, I know in certain parts of Eastern Europe, hit and run scams and things like that mm. are quite prevalent. So people are, 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 are filling their cars out with them. Um, to protect themselves, I, is there, a, a, you know, somewhere down the line, maybe not too far down the line, will they become standard with, on all vehicles, you think? I think that's bound to happen. Uh, for starters, as you said, uh, having that silent witness in offices and shops over the last 20 and 30 mm. years became very much the norm. Out on the street, it has become the norm, uh, both from the, the, the police, from the guards, and, and from the council, and all everywhere we walk these days, so that mm. crimes can be averted, prevented, and then obviously proven or disproven when they happen. I think in cars, that's just the next step, and popularity and sales on them have doubled every year in the and last five so years. So much of the basic te technology, because our, our cars are, mm. the modern cars are computer controlled these days, most of the basic te technology is actually in there. You yeah. just need to switch it on. Yeah. Okay, um, we're, we're going to run through a few of these things, and as we're doing that, we'll talk about some of the do's and don'ts of it. Mm. The first um, device that you have here is the, uh, this is the Garmin Dashcam yeah. 55. Now, actually, you've um, taken some footage um, uh, with this already, and we have some LVOs which will be coming up very shortly. Um, Actually, I got to go over to London to a rally school to test now, these things last week. So that, th what we're looking at on screen now is me driving yeah. at a rally school. Okay, and this camera that you uh, we've just seen there is yes. actually what's taking this footage. Actually, this is the predecessor. I already own one of these, and this is okay. the 35. What you're seeing is out next week, and it's the 55 version. Same okay. type of thing. Now, it has full-time and event recording in full um, 1080 HD. Yeah, so very... That's top of the okay, spec, is the it? The quality of camera footage and video footage, the days of grainy footage that are jumpy yeah. and that we don't have the space to record, large amounts of video are gone. This type of thing, small, light, inexpensive, and the quality is incredible. Now it it's switches like on and TV. off when the car engine switches yes. on and off. The okay. idea with all of these is that they're they're silent, they're inobtrusive, okay. and that when, as soon as you turn on the ignition, they start recording. So you don't need to go pressing buttons or setting them off. And they do th other things. Uh, mm. other, sorry, they, they do things other than just filming. They also they can come with alerts. For example, if you are if you drift, if you yeah. nod at off, you move out of your lane, it will give you an alert for this that. Now, a, a lot of cars come with that yes, anyway. Yes, yes. Well, it, this is a big, and it's a very exciting part of technology. As cars, as you mentioned, become more intelligent, not just computer controlled, but actually artificially intelligent. Technology like this includes not just the ability to record, but this is monitoring what's going, well, you know, the, the view from ahead of the car. So it's monitoring the road ahead for you. from the, the, the lines. For red lights, it'll alert you when there's red lights up ahead and you're moving too quickly. It'll alert you when you're stopped and the traffic ahead of you moves away. So if you're distracted, it'll alert you that that's happened. Or if you're moving quickly and there's stationary traffic in front. Tell These you. are reasons and causes of accidents. This now, can avert th This that. sort of technology is available in a lot of the sort of the higher end cars yeah, at the moment. But it's increasingly yeah. becoming more um, um, available across all of the uh, the ranges. Now it's um, it, it comes with apps. Obviously, it's supported by Easy Work access to footage comes in at about 205 this was 205 euro. and that has all that okay. intelligence and how features. does it plug into your car well it, it comes with a, a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter the you know the 12 okay. volt round adapter in your car plugs in there and, and it comes with a suction cup holder for your windscreen so setup is about three minutes as I mentioned there's really nothing to it so as soon as you turn on the car it starts to record okay move to the next one which mm. is the vehicle black box, black DVR. box DVR now I mentioned about those now, when you say DVR in, people instantly think of you the know, home DVRs yeah. um, video recorders uh, for, for, for TV and the likes but all it is is digital video recording and of course this one is very much similar to the Garmin but a budget version um, this has a battery built in as well, so it's designed to work even when the car stops if you want. So you can have it recording through the night or while you're in a, uh, a car park. So if an incident occurs while you're away from the car, it records that as well. Uh, so okay. as I say, built so, in battery um, on that one. Now this one, it auto, again, auto recording on starts as yeah, soon as yeah. the engine goes, uh, starts, it, it starts up, but it will record video and audio. Absolutely, yes. There's a now, microphone the first one that we did, well. it does record audio as well, actually. Oh, it does? Yeah, okay. it does. Well, we In fact, all of the ones I've seen do have the okay. option to record audio. Um, now this but this one, is a lot cheaper. This, okay. is, four, this is 59, 59 euro, for this euro. One. So you can see, big, big difference. Doesn't have those okay. intelligent features. 
but has all the basic recording functions. Right, number three is the AP car camcorder. Mm. Now there's a there's a, a, a difference in title. A title from the past. Yeah, camcorder. Yeah, yeah. I, I suppose a lot of people you still use that term. Think of a, a yeah, some big thing, JVC yeah. yoke. Yeah. So this has what large screen version? Yeah. So for starters, it's a much larger screen. There are again the price is right here. It's only forty nine euro. Uh, so it doesn't have those intelligent lane change or traffic alert functions. Okay. But this one is nice in that it has night vision bulbs built into it. So again I mentioned about the, the built-in view back, wider view. Okay. So at night I suppose if people are concerned about what's going on at night, maybe someone's There's coming in tampering with their car, vandalizing yeah, yeah. cars and vehicles. This this covers not only the car but also everything in a very wild. Well, field, that's the other thing as well. Yeah, is, is that you know if there's been a spate of burglaries yeah. in the area, yeah, yeah. Um, you know the chances are people will be sniffing around outside, maybe um, scoping out a place. And um, for fifty euro, this type of thing with its night vision yeah. bulbs can actually take that all in. Right. Uh, number four is the Elkin 4K Ultra. HD action camera, uh, full 4K resolution, mm. waterproof, handlebar and helmet mounts included. So this would be very useful for cyclists. As you can imagine, what okay. is this for? Similar deal, but 4K resolution, so better again. Um, you've also got a, a waterproof mm. cabinet around it, so it's designed yeah. for the outdoors for motorcycles. It's, a, it's and kind cyclists. of GoPro, is it? it yes. oh, that's a brand name. Uh, it, it's a brand name, exactly. And this is a. But it's a, become a, a generic version as well. Okay, yes. yeah. And uh, and it is wireless remote. You said. Yeah. What's? I, I don't know if you can see. It's 149 euro, by the way. Exactly. The wrist band here, you can wear that, and that has the start-stop recording function. Mm. So you don't need to leave it recording all the time, eating up memory, and you can just start and stop it from right. the wrist. A couple of things I want to talk to you about. Mm. Um, I mean, obviously, it's, a, it's an old gadget. We all love gadgets. It's a very mm. useful one because it can protect you against scams. Mm. I know, for example, in Eastern Europe, uh, hidden run scams are quite prevalent. It can also provide you uh, with evidence in, say, a court case, yeah, and is increasingly yeah. being called on by insurance companies. Yes. Now, yeah. um, it can also provide uh, evidence that you were in the wrong. Of course. So yeah, that's a double-edged yeah. sword. What, how is it, uh, what's the story in terms of court cases in Ireland, and where do these devices come in the Road Traffic Act? Can I mention before we, we say that, that you mentioned about proving or disproving speed or yeah. whatever you might be up to. The likes of the more intelligent ones, like the Garmin one, has, and you'll have seen in the video, text along the bottom, full telemetry, so it knows how fast the car is going and records that on Which the video. Which means you know how fast the car is exactly. going. Yeah, right, okay. So in terms of evidence or disproving or proving, say, even a, a speeding ticket, no, I actually was going below the speed, uh, the speed limit. Is that, would that be accepted in court? Uh, it hasn't happened yet in Ireland, but it's only a matter of time. Already in Ireland, see, obviously law is based on precedent mm. and what has been judged before. So it's down to a judge to decide in a particular case where there is no other evidence and there's a conflict of, this of is arguments. This your personal property, so uh, mm. the police can't demand that, but I'm, I'm assuming that they must have powers to be able to seize it if a court case yes. is serious enough. It's very interesting because this type of technology moves incredibly quickly. Law does not. I've been speaking to a number of guards in in, in Pear Street recently and they were telling me that if there's a crime and somebody has that recorded on their, say a third party, on their smartphone, they can actually commandeer, they can take that smartphone as evidence in a case and they can, they can forcibly take that. So um, uh, this type of thing could be taken off a third party in, in you know, for yeah. evidence in a case. It hasn't been done in courts in Ireland yet. It has in the UK. Right. And furthermore, but they're not, it has they're been not currently used. covered under a road traffic act. No, so as a matter of course, guard, they can't demand the footage. There's no mention. Potentially, they could see. There's it. no mention. Well, it would be down they wouldn't to have been there when the, the, the legislation yeah, was being yeah, exactly, drafted in the first exactly. place. Um, they just, are being used by insurance companies already in Ireland as evidence before things okay, go to court. Okay. Just very quickly, in terms of storage, how potentially how much storage do you have here? All of these use micro SD cards, so the tiny memory cards that a lot of devices, MP3 players, and that even your, your laptop can mm. take in the side. Um, so you can you can vary that. Some of them come with four or eight gigs, which will give you a few hours of recording. The interesting thing about the more intelligent ones is that they record events. Not only are they re recording and looping all the time, but say you left it in a car park and it was three hours and something happened to your car, instead of having to go through three hours of footage, it will record, it has a G-sensor okay. in it, so it will record minutes either side of a shock or an impact. 
called an, an event. Okay. Uh, uh, in terms of um, charging, they all work off of... They all work off the 12-volt supply. Power. Most of them have a battery built in. Okay. It's, if you are buying and that's something that concerns you, it's important to look at how long that battery okay. lasts. Okay, Colin, we'll have to leave it at that. The, okay, very useful device now. Chances are they're going to become standard. In, I think so. Citroen have already released it in one of their cars already, so okay. that's going to become... Thank you very much. Uh, if you want more details of that, we'll put them up.